Hi everybody, welcome to Muscoot Farm. My name is Jonathan Benjamin. Um, I'm the resident sugar maker here at Muscoot Farm. And so since it's that time again, I think today we're gonna read The Sweetest Season. This book is by Elisa Kerr and illustrations by Zoe Saunders. A cold night becomes a warm day. The freezing winter fades away. I jump from bed, ready to go, dressed to trek through melting snow. It's the perfect kind of weather for making sweet syrup together. Dad grabs our tools, I'll take the pails, we softly tread down wooded trails. All of these trees hold a sweet surprise, a sugary sap that flows inside. The sugar maple is the best. Its sap is sweeter than the rest. Dad always trusts my expertise to find the finest of the trees. With branches and buds arranged in pairs, I'd recognize that tree anywhere. This one is perfect, so large and sound, my arms could hardly stretch around. Dad drills the hole, I place the spile, now comes the hard part, waiting a while. Cool, clear sap begins to flow, I sneak a taste before we go. Each day we'll collect the sap, steadily pouring from the tap. Our supply is growing right on track. Time to visit the sugar shack. Now it's dad's turn to take the lead. I can help, what do you need? I haul wood, stoke the fire. Flames flicker, reaching higher. Sugar strengthens while water fades. Does our syrup make the grade? Yes, golden brown and sticky sweet, this batch of syrup is complete. When warm weather decides to stay, sugar season slips away. It's hard work, but we had fun making syrup for everyone. That was The Sweetest Season uh, by Alyssa Kerr and Zoe Saunders. And if you stick around now, you can watch us make a favorite, and it is Sugar on Snow. I hope you enjoyed the book, and we hope to see you soon. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Muscoot Farm. I'm Jonathan Benjamin, and today we are in the kitchen of the main house, and we are going to be making one of... Uh, the sugar maker's most favorite treats during this time of year, and it's sugar on snow. Luckily, there's only two ingredients, maple syrup and snow, and we have both right now. So the only thing we need to do is take our maple syrup, about a cup of it. Um, you can make it more if you have a lot of people that like it. Um, and what we're going to do is heat this up to about 235 degrees. So we have this um candy thermometer right here and here's you know 220 here's 260 so somewhere around the soft ball stage we're going to then take that off and then you get snow and you can pack it in a container um, like a bowl or you can just go out and drizzle it on clean snow and when you do that it's going to kind of chill it really quickly and it's going to make it like a taffy con consistency and a texture so um, really, it's just having your syrup heated to 235, pouring it in like one ribbon, and then you take like a popsicle stick or a fork and you can kind of twist it around there and it is a very delicious treat. Um, so, like I said, we're going to start. We have already kind of got our um, stove going. It's about medium-high heat and we are going to pour in about a cup or two, probably And one of the things that you need to know about syrup is whenever you heat it, once syrup starts to get pretty hot, it, it can grow. So what that means is that it can roll out 
of your pot and make a very sticky mess on your oven that your family will not soon um, forgive you for. So just keep an eye on this really, really closely. You want to make sure that it doesn't boil over and check back in with us whenever we get to about 235 degrees and we'll make some sugar on snow. All right, so as you can see, I kind of moved it off the heat a little bit. It's bubbling up, and if I was to put it back on full heat right now, it would boil over. And so all of that all that syrup would kind of be dripping and it would get on here, and trust me, you don't want that. Um, it smells incredible. Again, I'm just keep saying it. If, if we can come up with a way to have smell o vision it's going to be remarkable. We're at about 200 and... I would say 26 degrees. So we need about four more degrees and then we will pour this on our snow. So um, come back and uh, we'll see you in just a minute. All right, so we are at 235. So what we're gonna do is kind of just put thermometer in there. So we have our snow and we have this. So we're gonna just kind of pour it on here like this. And it's kind of a packed, like I said, a packed snow. That way it'll hold up to this hot, hot icing, or ice, hot, hot syrup. And what we'll do is kind of, you let it cool for just a little bit. And take like a, a fork or a, or a, uh, popsicle stick and you see this consistency here it's like taffy so you take this and let's try it it's very good it tastes a lot like taffy and I won't be able to sleep for probably three days now I would highly suggest trying this if you can and See you next time.